Hello, it's day 99 of the Liberator project and you join me once again in my kitchen. Now I've just been doing a little cooking. I'm not going to do a cooking video today because this is just very easy stuff and I didn't make it. I actually just reheated it. So I've reheated some uh, baguettes and I'm cooked some uh, bacon and that's fried Chinese leaf and I've got some raw Chinese leaf. What I like to do is the Chinese leaf's really good. It lasts for ages in the fridge. It's really nice because you can use the soft part of it as lettuce, basically. And the thick stalks of it are like a very sweet onion. So it's uh, it's it's multi-purpose and very tasty and it's, it lasts for ages. So um, it's very nice to have that in my fridge. So I'm just going to make myself a bacon baguette um, well, after this video. And uh, the rest of the baguettes is really nice. That's nice and crispy bread. I will have that with some borscht either later today or tomorrow, but it's nice to have that in the house and it makes the house smell wonderful. You know, my, my kitchen smells of basil and cooked bread. So that's really nice. But, um, you know, encourage people to cook and that is really cheating. I bought the baguettes, I just warmed them up in the oven, but still very nice. Okay, um, what else today? Well, um, usual things you have to do when you're in a house, you've got to clean up and tidy and vacuum and wash up and do your washing and ironing and all those sort of things but nothing very exciting to that but um what, I, what i've spent a lot of the day doing is actually talking with friends so um one of my uh, really close friends dom he's got a, um, a farm in italy and well on the side of a mountain so um was talking to him about things and you know hopefully uh, you know we visit the project will go and visit him when i've got a boat i will sail down to Italy and visit him and another one of my close friends Nick has got a farm in in Greece and well, that one's quite near the sea so I will uh, definitely go and stay with him for a while and you know you I'll, as always I will share everything on the on the channel um both of them are trying to do sort of their independent thing Nick in particular has got about 40 trees he's growing everything from scratch he's doing an amazing job you know he's got olives pistachios avocados fruit you know he's very proud he's got his first lemon apparently so I, i'm you know fantastic um and uh say so we'll, we'll go and see them on the project when i actually get sailing i was i'm you know it'd be a good practice for me to actually sail in the med before heading off to across the atlantic so we'll see them next year okay um also i was really pleased because uh, nick phoned me up because he's making a um he's making a borscht with his uh, russian mother and uh, they wanted, he wanted to talk about how to make uh, a good stock. So he's making, not a beef stock, it's a lamb stock, but I'm, I'm very, you know, very pleased. I want to encourage everyone to have a go at cooking. I mean, you've seen how I do it. You, you try it, adapt it, you know, make it up as you go along. And uh, say the food is so much better when you cook than getting takeaways and pre-processed food. You know, if you can make it without any preservatives, use fresh ingredients and you know, have fun. Once you get into the rhythm of it, it is actually not a big problem to cook for yourself and pro properly, cook properly. And I'm glad that I'm encouraging people to do that. And uh, I'll probably do another cooking uh, video um, or oh, the next few days, maybe next week. But, uh, you know, uh, Neil wants me to make some cunning linguine. So I've got, <laughs> I've made up the recipe already. I've got to buy the ingredients. And uh, when my borscht runs out, I will make that. And again, do a cooking video uh, for you to uh, to see what what I'm doing. It's very very easy. It's very tasty and learn to cook. Okay. Um, right. Last thing today, I actually talked to um one of my agents, uh, for one of my engineering agents, and uh, there's a job going uh, to design the firmware for a, a Cortex wearable computer system, and uh, you know I don't know. It's working from home, which is fantastic, and I've certainly applied and sent my CV there. And uh, you know, tomorrow I will chase that up because that would really, you know, just I get very paid, you know, paid very well for designing electronics, far more than acting. But I do all right. So if I had a a couple of months of of uh, designing, that would uh, really sort out all the debts and problems, and I could, you know, be back in the black and move on. But uh, We'll see how it goes. I'm not holding my breath for that. Um, with my acting, uh, I mean, my acting work, there's been 
nothing suitable for a while. I've applied for a, I went through a phase of applying for everything, but I didn't get anything. As you know, I didn't get, I really wanted the TV job, the improvising on television, but I didn't get that. And there's just too many uh, hungry actors out there who are far more talented than me. So, you know, they're going to get the job. Right, that's it really. Um, I say I hope to uh, have something more exciting to show you soon about the project. But if we haven't got stuff about the project, I will be doing some more cooking and I will be doing some music. If there's no lockdown, myself and James are probably going to do a few songs. We'll put those on there. So there will be other things to watch rather than just me you know, trying to sort out <laughs> sort out stuff on eBay. But I say one step at a time, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. <laughs>